Well, thanks everybody for looking in and thank you again for uh, the, the gracious invitation from the LBMA uh, to address you today on the uh, bullion markets. We've had an extremely active uh, market and I think uh, one way to look at it here is to uh, uh, glance at our first slide, um, which should show stocks and, um, uh, and, uh, and gold prices. And you see here that um, uh, gold is generally uh, inversely correlated um, uh, to the equity markets. And gold, but gold had been doing very well last year, uh, despite the fact that equity markets uh, were rising. Um, it did, however, have some liquidation uh, during the um, most intense period of the decline in gold prices uh, at the end of, um, uh, uh, for a large portion of March. And I think this called into question from some skeptics gold's utility as a safe haven. But I think quite the opposite is true. Gold actually performed very well as the equity markets were declining and it was a source of, of, of cash, particularly as there was a scramble for dollars. So I think if anything, uh, the activities of the last few weeks have confirmed uh, gold's value in a portfolio, um, its portfolio diversifying abilities and also its your ability to, uh, to raise cash in a very liquid asset. Um, that is uncorrelated uh, with with paper art, with paper uh, markets, and I think that's the real key uh, towards the the value of gold in in what is a very trying times for the for the global economy. Our economists have uh, at HSBC have uh, 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 reduced forecasts uh, to, to to negative. The world uh, the, because of the Corona uh, virus. Um, We've seen uh, disruptions to international trade, lockdowns of millions, tens of millions of people not being able to get to their employment, um, severe strain on the financial markets, and uh, an and, and, and active monetary and fiscal response uh, from world governments. And this is um, much of this uh, has been playing into uh, uh, gold, making gold attractive uh, uh, for investors. As I say, it is uncorrelated to. Uh, uh, paper uh, markets, and it is also um, a quality asset. Now, if we just look at our next uh, our next slide, um, you can see here uh, that uh, monetary policy has had a big impact on gold. The yield curve um, uh, is pretty flat, and that um, <clears throat> that reduces the opportunity cost of owning gold. Um, so, what does gold like? It likes liquidity, it likes accommodative monetary policies. And we've seen this in waves coming from uh, uh, not just the Fed, but from other central banks. And uh, it's not, uh, does not appear to be a, a near term uh, 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 issue. This could be with us uh, for quite some time. And consequently, gold has a good background from a monetary policy uh, uh, standpoint. Now, just looking at our at our next uh, uh, slide, something I want to, to point out um, is that the volatility in the financial markets has helped to boost gold. Um, now, volatility over 50 percent um, uh, 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 can sometimes lead to some gold liquidation. But generally speaking, higher volatility is a sign of uncertainty. Um, and that, I think, is another uh, supporting factor uh, in the in, 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 in the gold market right now. Well, I've said a lot of positives, but um, uh, we, we, do, we do have some negatives. And one of them is the high price of gold uh, in uh, uh, Asia, in the emerging markets, where the bulk of physical demand, and I'm talking about retail demand, uh, jewelry, uh, small bars, things like that, uh, has, uh, has been deterred uh, very much, particularly when you look at it in um, local currency terms, as the dollar has tended to be strong against, for example, the Indian rupee. And this, I think, is going to keep uh, some sort of a cap on the gold market. But nonetheless, the investment factors uh, continue to favor it. But I think one has to take into account that um, the physical market uh, is under some uh, uh, contraction uh, in, uh, in, in, in much of the emerging world and, 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 and elsewhere. Well, just having a, a quick glance now at our, at our next slide, I think it brings us on to an interesting topic which has been supporting gold for much time. I think it's important to remember that this gold was in a bull market 
before the COVID-19 crisis. Uh, gold rallied 18% last year. Um, and this uh, pandemic, the first beginning of this pandemic did not emerge until December. Uh, so really, um, uh, the market has already was already very strong. And one of the reasons it was strong um, is because of issues over trade. There's an inverse correlation between gold and trade during periods, as you can see on the chart, during periods when trade is robust and grows quickly, um, we tend to see uh, low gold prices. But when trade contracts, um, which is a sign of distress, a sign of uh, uh, reduction in globalization, um, uh, resign of possibly disputes between countries, um, uh, geopolitical tensions may, may rise, you may see currency disputes, the gold market tends to do well. And trade right now is clearly under pressure. Um, and just uh, to, to, to reaffirm that uh, uh, demand in, 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 in uh, much of the emerging world, where the bulk of gold is purchased is, is having a tough time, we can see our next, uh, next slide, um, which shows uh, China. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, this next slide um, uh, does reaffirm uh, the strong demand we see in the uh, uh, investment markets. ETFs have climbed 10 million ounces this year to a record over 91 million ounces, a very, very strong increase. Um, now, this net long positions uh, did go up to an all-time high earlier this year and were paired, I think, uh, in large part by the margin-related uh, uh, selling uh, that we saw with the equity markets, but are still, uh, nonetheless, are still very strong. And if you combine the two, um, we have a significantly uh, uh, a lot. We have a significant amount of investor demand in uh, uh, in these instruments. Well, looking now towards our our, our next slide, um, which is uh, I believe the gold imports into mainland China from Hong Kong and Switzerland, we see very low levels. And um, uh, uh, although we've only got uh, data for January and February of this year, we see them down double digits uh, compared to uh, last year, which itself was not a particularly uh, strong year. So this reaffirms um, a weak physical demand, price related, and that will be a cap on, 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 on rallies. Just a quick word here on the gold silver ratio. Um, uh, uh, because of the weakness, I think, in electronics and uh, of trade, uh, we did see some declines in silver vis-a-vis -vis the gold market. The gold-silver ratio went out to an all-time high. The silver seems to be coming back um, around $15 or below. A coin demand is very attractive in small bars, and I would look for the, uh, as we've stated in our research, for the silver uh, gold-silver ratio for silver to begin to gain um, on gold. These have been very difficult times. Um, I think the LBMA has done a great job in, in sustaining markets and uh, uh, and helping and lending their support and expertise um, in uh, in sustaining markets in these really difficult uh, 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 difficult circumstances. It's hard to get a historical uh, perspective uh, uh, during the Spanish flu and other periods. We were under different gold regimes, um, and uh, therefore gold did not react, could not react in the way that it. Uh, 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 that it has that it has now, and uh, 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 that's it from me. We may have some uh, 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 some questions uh, from from the LBMA, which I'd be happy to entertain. Thanks, Jim. Um, so let's start with the first question for you. Um, how is the global economy faring in the face of the pandemic? Well, as we mentioned um, 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 earlier, I think I think I just covered uh, it very quickly. Our economists have revised um, our, our positions down. Um, there's been, as I mentioned, great strain. There's been an, uh, disruptions in investment, disruptions in uh, uh, international uh, uh, trade. Uh, uh, millions of tens of millions of people have been locked out of their jobs. This has all led to a contraction, a severe contraction in in, in economic activity, which has undermined. Um, um, equity markets, um, at least up until recently, uh, and has consequently triggered a, a safe haven demand for gold. Great, thanks. And um, how is gold and, in fact, other precious metals faring compared to other asset classes? 
Well, Golden has done remarkably well. I mean, if you look at it, um, uh, uh, it is back up towards the late February levels. Um, uh, gold has uh, prospered as the, um, uh, the equity markets have uh, fell 30% at one point. I think they're higher or 25%, depending on which one you're looking at. Uh, the equity markets are recovering, but but by far gold has uh, outshone and uh, uh, other, um, uh, other 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 asset classes. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tim. And. Uh...